Greetings and welcome to Mo Holidays. Uh, I was hoping to do a <clears throat> Minecraft little survival play with the Mo Creatures mod, which is not at all updated. Oh boy, that is a starting location. <laughs> there is a tree though. Uh, Mo Creatures is not at all updated, so I found a couple other little mods, forge mods, and I wanted to do mine colonies. Um, so at some point you're going to ask me what mods are in this pack. It's a great question. I also have a few data packs installed um, that do things like have gravestones. Um, I think I installed Vein Miner. Now there's a boat. That's a pretty good find at the beginning of the game, but let me see, where the heck did I spawn here? Oh, this is kind of cool. Um, I think these are from Biomes of Plenty. I think. I like... Oh, 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 what am I thinking? This will not do. Like, this will be impossible to create a mine colonies, colony on such thin islands without a nice big flat area of land, but check out the purple bamboo forests, these spiky mountain forests, I just love the look of this one right here. Um, Alright, I do not see any sheep, which is, in my mind, these days, one of the most important starting resources, right up there, possibly even more important than coal. Whoops. Uh, sheep give you the cloth for your bed to skip the night, but also, of course, they give you a food source, which is so important early game. Wood, of course, gets you your tools, etc. Well, I don't need to tell you this, you know. Um, there's a mod in here, I think, called Ice and Dragons, so there's dragons. See, I don't know, should I should I tell you these things or should I let like spoiler them or should I let you experience them real time? I think I'm not going to tell you anymore. Um there is one one other cool mod uh that has an interesting interesting thing. Oh, there's some coal. So let's take a moment to get our um I want to go after that ship, but that is something that I can do once it gets dark, I think. Let's go a little bit faster here. I'm surprised I'm not already getting attacked. Oh, there we go. Oh, God, I am getting attacked. Oh, God. <laughs> Look at these piranhas. Okay, they're going to break my boat if I'm not careful. Let's get let's get away from these guys. That is too many. If it was one, I might have tried to Oh, they are chomping at my bits. Oh, look at them. And they will not stop when I hit this shore over here, by the way. Piranhas in this mod are way too common. They are everywhere. What is this thing? All right, we're going to hit this, and we're going to run. Look at that. Look at that. Those flapper jackers. Holy cow. So many piranhas. They ate my boat. For sure. Oh, they die on land. I didn't know that. Five on this side, and a couple on that side. There's my boat. As much as I want my boat back, like, that's a recipe for disaster. Ooh, I don't know what this bush is. Azalea bush is pretty. Okay. We're going to do, um, we're going to include azaleas, I think, in my build. I have not seen this bush before. We're going to go ahead and grab these cows over here. Well... We're going to get their leather, I should say. 
their meat. I want some sheep. Alright, looks like it's safe enough for me to cross here. I don't know if those critters spawn when you're in water or if they were already spawned. And I think they're from a mod called Animalia. Uh, since I've taken damage, I'm going to actually go ahead and cook some of this meat. I don't really want to so quickly, but <laughs> seems a safe thing to do. Uh, so I was, so like I was saying, I don't really want to play Mon Colonies. I want to play something like it. I was messing around with a mod called New in Town, excuse me, a Minecraft data pack, uh, which is pretty cool. It, it does have the city building aspect and an economy kind of system. It actually has quests and um, enemy mobs that progress, and then you build a second city and a third city, which is really awesome by Kano Carib, by the way. Uh, hopefully I pronounced that correctly. But it doesn't have villagers walking around and people. Like, I find the that I want people to interact with with, either randomly generated names or names I can, well, hopefully names I can change. And, um, you know, this is a pretty nice flat area, but it's almost too featureless for my mine colony. I also need to decide, am I going to do the mine, mine colony starting with a ship or the mine colony starting with a... Um, with a wagon. I think because I'm on these islands I should do a ship. That would kind of make the most sense, right? Oh, there's some sheep. Can I get to them before the mob spawn? That's the question. Oh, that's cool. I might build my town over there by the by those cool yellowish trees. I love yellowish trees. <laughs> Alright, did I get the wool? Yes, I did because my recipe triggered. Okay, here we go. Quickly now. Because bad things come at night. And they are not in small packages. Although, bad things do come in small packages as well. Alright. Let's head over this way. We're gonna make our we're gonna make our village either in or near this yellow stuff, depending on what else I run into along the way. I should probably go ahead and get my leather situ leather armor situation under control before I go over there because you never know what's lurking. I've got seven only, huh? That seems kind of low. Oh, yeah, see? See? Did you see that wild dog over there? Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. we got to get some ants, I guess. I can't make a... Oh, can I? Oh, I know. I wonder if piranhas attack wild dogs. I don't see any piranhas. And he didn't aggro me? Really? Whoa. Must be asleep. Oh, yeah, this is beautiful. Oh, look at this birch. Oh, oh, this is my mine colony. Oh, yes. I just want to find the far edge or rough. Oh, and there's bees here. So pretty. I just want to roughly find the far edge to see how much area do I have. And is there any, like, structures that I need to be wary of on the other side? I see some, like, rose bushy kind of things. I see chickens, so that's good. There's, like, a... I don't know if that's a Sakura jungle. Sakura trees. Okay, this is, this is good. 
very nice. Very, very nice. Okay, now I think is the okay, this is one thing I'm not sure of. Is the wagon the center of the town hall? Or is the mayor or the town hall I mean the center of the town or the or wherever you put the town hall is the center of the town. I kind of want I kind of want to be able to see both of these biomes from the town. But I really liked that um I really liked that depression circular depression area over here. And I also I thought that was kind of pretty and I also like building my town up on the highest point of elevation so that I get a good view of surroundings. Maybe put, maybe I'll save those for guard towers. That, okay, that emerald area I don't need to, to see. All right, so, yeah, we're, so we're going to build my town hall inland after all. In fact, I remember mean, my wagon. I think the town hall is going to go right up here. This feels pretty central. This feels like a good spot right here for the town hall. This is going to be where my town hall goes. Uh, I think, so I think we need to do, we do need to go with the wagon, which requires, I believe it's five chests. So, we're going to need to start farming some of these beautiful trees. I actually, oh, I really want to be careful not to clear cut this whole area. Those are so pretty. Yeah, this is, this is a good blend of mods. It's going to add just a bit of danger, but not too much. And in fact, a couple of the things that I found dangerous in just kind of playing a little bit, making sure the mods work together, have not occurred and are not an issue yet here in this playthrough. Oh, nice. We got some caves to explore. This is going to be good. Oh, I love this area down here. This sort of like secluded area. Maybe this might be where the fisherman goes. It's pretty far, though, from where I said the town hall is going to be. Uh, in the last mine colonies, I did find out that, like, the farther you spread... Oh, shoot. Was that there before? That is something that I'm concerned about. But at the same time, excited to find. I'll show you why. It's graveyard. And... Graveyards have mausoleums. Mausoleums have treasure. But they're protected by ghosts. So I gotta be careful with the ghosty toasties. I lost my fingers on the keys. Oh, that was a problem. My finger slipped off my WASD. Oh, oh no, I thought that was a second ghost, but it's just this guy doing some kind of spell on me. You gotta be careful every time you open the chest. Maybe I should just destroy the chest. I don't know if there's a spawner in there. Because they do seem to keep coming. There's a wither rose in there. And <clears throat> maybe that, maybe it's a spawner. Uh, that gives me four string that I will need for my bow. I'm going to go ahead and patch this back up. And let's see what kind of helmet this is. Protection. Oh, that's even better than I thought. Now, if I leave this here, I do believe that more ghosts will spawn. I do believe ghosts will spawn and menace my villagers. So I'm going to I'm going to 
repair this uh, It's a little bit distracted from what I was planning to do. Oh, these are different. Oh, these are cursed? That was a cursed chest. Is that what was spawning the ghosts? Oh, I didn't know. I didn't realize that. That's what was spawning the ghosts. So now that the cursed chest is gone... Cool, my villagers have a cemetery. All right, awesome. Now, my goal was to farm some trees. Oh, this is so pretty with this mountain backdrop. Now, I have no idea what what spawns in this biome. And, oh, excellent. It's not, oh, well, that's a dog. But I got some bones. Can I get an early game dog? Oh, I may regret this, but I'm going in. Regretting. Oh, yeah! <laughs> oh, and some pod soul. I love this location so much. This is perfect. All right, dog. Guard me as we run back to my bed. Wait, that means there could be other dogs in there. Oh, this is fan tootly dastic. Foodly tootly tandly toodle. All right. Oh my creepy. Oh dear. Holy schmokesels. Oh rats. Oh doggy. Oh doggy. Oh doggy. Oh doggy. Oh doggy. I need your help. There's rats and creepers and skeletons everywhere. I was very... Oh, I didn't get the bed. Oh, crap. The rats are on me. Doggy, help me. Doggy, get those skeletons. I'll take out the creeper and the zomber. Oh, I killed him too quickly. Ooh. Yes. Oh, doggy, yes. Oh, doggy. Oh, doggy. Now I have a broken bed over there somewhere that I need to go find. And my axe. Yes, dog. Good job. And my axe. It's up here. Whew. My bed. I couldn't pick it up. Probably my inventory was full. Doggy, there's a rat over here. Behind this tree. Get him. Oh, shit. Oh, that big giant dog. All right, you get him. Yes, you are the man, dog. You are the man. Protect me. Protect me. We're going to put the bed here after all, because we basically cleared the area. Get him. Oh, sugar, his brothers. All right, nope, let's go to a quicker... Oh, rat. Rat face, McGillicuddy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Rats are fast. That ought to put a little distance between me and the rat, though. Yikes! Oh, my God! What was that? Something flew past me. <gasps> oh, rats! Don't kill me now! Don't kill me! I see at my spawn... Yes. Oh, boy. Oh, boy! Oh, it was a ghost! Why was there a ghost? I gotta punch him until I can get my stuff back. Gravestone mod! Yeah! Get him, dog. Get him. Get him. Oh, that is an effective little taunt haunt. Dang it. I don't think he died. I think he disappeared. Dang it, I died. Oh, dog, if it wasn't for you, I would not have survived that. Well, I didn't. But you know what I mean. Now, I don't think cursed chests will work. Let's find out. No, I don't. I think it's the cursed chest that's stopping me. So we do not want to put that cursed chest down. 
there we go there's my supply camp all right now we'll set the bed here in the supply camp I don't really want to do that actually but that's okay smoker furnace so there's nothing pre-populated here when you do the ship you actually used to start with a hidden hidden gold block and I wonder if there is a gold block under here there's a block of koa Ooh, coal aha the gold is hidden under the wagon okay knowing that's there is really all I need at the moment oh what's on this shelf Oh, oh, my building wand. Like, yeah, buddy. Let's put my manuscripts and my cursed chest here. Oh, what kind of decorations can I make? A big well. That's not bad. A cliff climb landing large. Whoops, don't press that. What is that? Weird. A cliff climb landing small, a cliff climb segment storage. What does storage look like? A storage place. Whoops. Asian bathhouse. What? I can make a bathhouse? Oh! Deco pillar gray. Fancy. Ah, oh, there's some interesting options here. Ooh, a nice gate. Oh, man, I think we're going to do this. Okay, I think we're going to go with the Asian decorations. Let me just see what else is here. Oh, a city plan. So that's just a big open area. Wells, barracks, fortress look, concert. Corners. Whoa, they've added a lot. A kennel, a market, jungle, markets, medieval birch. Wow. They have added some stuff here. Space Wars, True Dwarven, Wooden, and then back to Acacia. So let's go back to Town Hall now. Do we want an Asian style Town Hall? Do we want a, um, hmm, what does the biggest one look like? So level five is the biggest one. That's what the town hall would look like, a pagoda. I'm not a particularly pagoda man, to be honest with you. I'm not a big birch. Uh, uh, this is what I did last time for my dwarven thing. I like this, but not in this biome. No. Hmm, this may be, this may be what I do for the town hall, the jungle. Oh, no. That is what I want. Medieval birch. Wow, that's nice. Medieval alternative is okay. Too much, too much Diarrhea, I mean diorite. Medieval dark is okay. Oak is okay. Wow, they have added so many. Ooh. Oh, the Nordic looks great in this biome, too. I just don't know that I'm going to get that many. Uh... Oh, look at that. That looks fantastic. Oh, that's fantastic in this bio. That's fantastic, but I will never be able to build it. So we're going with, where was it? Medieval Birch. And the level, so this is, this is the size that I need for the, uh, for the large. Medieval Birch. 
Now let's see. And you can't go right to level five, so you have to go down to level one. Okay, I was able to put it. The thing is, the thing is I don't have the builder. The thing is I don't have oh oh I have this mod uh auto plant saplings. So you see all the, see those saplings pointed themselves. Or is that a data pack? It's a data pack. A door, planks, and the builder's wand. There's the builder's hut, and it left the builder's wand behind. Good. Okay, so, oh gosh. Cancel that. Okay, so now the builder's hut, if this is the, the supplies and this is the town hall, then I should put the builder's hut over here. That sounds pretty good, right? Let's uh let's take a peek down here. Oh, this is the one that leads. Oh no. It's not. This is cool. So now takes the whole vein and gives me all the items at once, which is fantastic. There. Now we've got a secret meeting place below the town. We've got a builder's hut, which is going to go up right back here. Place the town hall first. Uh, I guess we're going to just go with Aspen Grove, because I just don't have a better idea. I think I can rename later. So I need a builder, and then these are the items that I need. I can click build building, but it doesn't quite matter. Now, the only other thing I want to do, so I do not want to deal with raiders. MC colony can spawn raiders. Colony ID, I don't know if it's zero, it must be one. False, so no raiders in my colony. Here's a cool thing I didn't know. I can do MC colony home and it will teleport me here. Whoa! First settler has arrived. Sebastian, you should place a builder's hut to start your settlement. Whoa! Look at this dude! Hey, Sebastian. You're idle. Uh, you've got a Santa hat on. I don't care for that too much. That's okay. Okay, and there's some other administrative commands that I'm not going to worry about too much. So now let's see if I can make the builder. So this shows me the border of my colony, which I think I like. Pretty good size colony. All right, we're going to put the builder's hut back over here. We're going to go with an Asian builder. I think this is the front door. Let's just check. Yeah, that is side this is the back. Yeah, so this is the front. We're going to pop it right up here alongside facing the town hall and alongside the um, the camp. Do I want it up at this level? Yes, I do. And we want it over this way a little bit. Just about like that. It's pretty good. A little bit off center. Good. There's a little walkway here. Now we're going to pop it down to level one. And let's build it. So there we go. However, that's not. We need to access it. Click the build building button. Sooner citizens will be creating. Okay. Build the building. Manage the workers. Oh, I've got three? Oh. Creativity should be high. What? It automatically defaulted to submission. Fine. No problem. Build options. Builder. Build. The builder begins. 